I'm Donnie Schatz. I drive the Tony Stewart Ford Powered Number 15 Sprint Car. I'm gonna walk you through the makings of a bear car, semi bear car here, and show you how it works. First off, we're gonna start in the back. This is a 31 gallon fuel tank. It's hard to believe you can put 31 gallons in there, but it's a plastic shell, has a Kevlar bladder in it, it holds about 31 gallons when it's plumb full. So there's a lot of weight hanging on the back. The suspension has torsion bars. They're a 30 inch bar, they, they have different diameters that allow for different flex. That's how we do all four corners on this car. It's really a traditional type suspension for sprint cars. We have a solid axle rear end that has one nut holding the wheel on and both sides have directional threads to keep the wheels from coming loose. The birdcage here is what holds the, the rear torsion arm to this radius rod so as it goes up and down, it has the ability to, to pivot. This is our steering gear. Uh, the steering gears are are really bulletproof nowadays compared to 20 years ago. They've, they've gotten a lot better. They're hydraulically powered off of a, of a pump that's driven off the back of the motor. And that also gives us our wing slider ability to move. We have one main feed line coming from the tank and it doesn't suck, it, it's gravity fed, so it gets a constant flow. The way that the motors are fueled on these cars is by how much fuel is returned back to the tank that's how we regulate what gets shoved to the motor. All the brakes on this car are titanium. This car only has two brakes. It has a left front and then an inboard left rear. This is a safety product to keep uh, my knees from getting smashed. It's just a, it's a carbon fiber guard. Keep from plugging your knee through the steering gears and, and all that. Normally a set of pads in these cars will last the life of the car, so there's not a lot to be done. Uh, the frames are all made out of uh, chromoly tubing so it's very light, very strong. The motor plates, we try to cut as much weight as we possibly can with everything. This motor plate is made out of magnesium to get the light weight. In a crash, it may allow the motor to break out. Uh, that might be a good thing, it might be a bad thing, depending on what it is. All the fasteners that you can see are all titanium. We can probably knock about two pounds off for the car between steel and titanium. Right up to the front end, the sprint cars have a beam axle, so it's a solid axle. There's no independent suspension like your road car uh, or a late model, and it's very simple. And because it's very simple, this is what allows us to be able to change in a work area environment where if we knock the front end out, they get knocked out very easy. They can change these front ends in a matter of minutes. So we do have some adjustability in, in all these things. Everything's very lightweight, uh, aluminum, titanium, lightweight steel, as well as the nose wing. They get very ill handling without them, but they can be raced without them. This is where the radiator goes. As you can see, all the components in front of it are all carbon composite to try to eliminate uh, as much weight as possible. And that's pretty much it.